I didn't know I needed a 3500 monster truck, but now I definitely need one. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Today we've got some new mods, weekend mods for us yet again. We got an update to the TLX 3500 series. We also have the McCormick Cotton Trailer Pack from Hispano Modding. We're going to take a look at both of these, check out some slot counts, look at customization, and maybe some more. So sit back and relax. We got weekend mods, baby. Let's do it. First up, let's take a look at the mod update for the 3500. This is version 1.1. They've added BKT new wheels to all of the trucks. You can see right here, we're just on the regular 3500. We got the Prospector wide. We've also got the Prospector wide twins and then the Mudden version and some Mudden twins as well. However, that's not the star of the show, at least for this update. This is the TLX 3500 Crew Cab. Now, we've got the same setup here. You can see the sound version 6.2 or the 7.3. Which one of these do you want? You could go with either one. Doesn't really matter. They're both exactly the same truck. They just sound different, even when you change the engine. So let's take a look at the customization. 480 horsepower. That's just insane to start off with with a pickup truck in the game. Manual transmission. We got 120 liters of fuel. 165 kilometers per hour? Uh, that's 102 miles per hour. I got a new computer. I got to figure this out. And 6.2 tons. As far as configs, we've got a standard config and we've got full extra. So if you don't want to worry about too much customization, just jump in to that. But we want to customize everything. Starting off with the wheel brand. So we have the basics. We have the all-terrain, the off-roads, the continentals, the mudden tires, the swamp tires, snow tires, bucket tires, and BKTs, baby. Now you're going to find that all of these are going to match up with the standard truck. So you can have either a two-door or four-door with the exact same customizations. Pretty cool. I like the prospect wide, so we're going to go with those at least for this build. Special editions. So we have metalized. We've got black bell. Black Bell 2, which is kind of the Sad Bell, the Copperhead, and the Silver Bullet, which I'm actually surprised that they let through. Usually this is SB or something like that, because I guess you can't say bullet in a farming simulator game anymore. Nonetheless, we're just going to stick with standard today. Window tinting, we've got standard, we got medium, and we've got dark. Now, I like that the dark really isn't too crazy. Uh, looks kind of nice. I like that. As far as mirrors go, we've got a wide mirror or standard mirror extras. You got some side steps on the side. You got a snorkel, a roof rack, or you could do combinations of all of these. And we're going to do all of them. Bumper. We got an off-road bumper on the front. Style number one, style number two. That gives it a little bit of a wider set. And you can add wider fenders on there too. That's pretty cool. And then we've got different setups. Boom, boom, boom. I know a lot of people really like this one. So you could go with any of those that you really like. Now, me personally, I like off-road style four. So that's what we're going to use here. Lighting. We've got spotlights on the front. Yellow ones. We've also got regular LED lights. Strobe lights in there. And then we could go through and do some more. Now, I think for us, at least for today, I'm just going to go with spotlights. Headlights. You could do blue headlights, red, green, orange, purple, and then back into white if you guys want to. I think for us today, oh, well, there's no yellow. Oh, well, we'll go with blue. Why not? Fenders. So we have a thin fender and we have a wide fender. And then we've got different color versions of those. So if you guys want this just to match what's already on the truck, use the wide or standard. However, you can also go with a thin main or a wide main. Thin design, wide design. So your main color will change them or your design color will change them. Anything like that. For me, I always go with the wide design. You can do what you want there. It's all good. Rim bead locks. Well, we got none <laughs> metal bead locks. You've got red bead locks on there and then back to none again. They won't show up on every single wheel, but they do show up here, which is kind of cool. I like the red liveries. We have a digital camo. We have a winter wolf or nothing. Now we also have emblems on here. So you can see on the side, we got the 3500. We also have TLX. What this is going to do is it's going to add lighting options and uh, kind of like a different design to those emblems. Go with both. Trust me, it's free. Engine setup. We got that 7.3 and we have the supercharged 6.2. So you can go with either one that you want. Now that supercharged 6.2, it's going to bump you up to 620 horsepower. Go with it. Main color on here. All of them. <laughs> all of the colors uh by the way this is not toothpaste tractor this is tiffany but it may as well be toothpaste tractor so let's stick a toothpaste tractor yeah i can't i can't 
I can't do it. It's got to be blue. And then design color on here as well. I like the designs to be black aged because they match everything. And I just think it looks really cool on these trucks. We also have interior details as well. You can see when we change this up to yellow, all the things inside there that change. And one of my favorites is to run scarlet red. I just think that looks so cool. Now for the metal parts on here, I'm going to change this to orange just so you can see everything that does change. So we've got your exhaust right there, but we also have all the little bits and pieces inside the engine. If I were to change these to purple, well, they all become purple. Yep, uh, go with a chrome or something like that. It'll look more natural, but hey, you can go crazy. Have some fun with it. And then lastly, we got rim colors. Of course, this changes the entire color of the rim itself. One of my favorite colors is the chrome blackout number one. I love that setup. We're gonna go with that. And to go along with this truck, we've also got four brand new, well, I say brand new, there's remodels so that they fit of all of the other pieces. So going through these, you can see we've got the 3500 pickup bed itself. You could go with a roof rack on here. Also, you're gonna see very similar, if not exactly the same customization to the two door version here. So you guys could just go through, pick the things that you like, and you're good. We've got the same off-road bumpers and things like that. The emblem, you can go with the El Toro Glow. I do love that. Uh, you also have that, but it would be at the top. So I would have to change up the roof rack. So you can see that goes up near the top. Or I think we can do both. Yeah, there it is. All of them. <laughs> Sequentials on the tailgates. We do have those. We've also got the bumper lights as well, which work great. Liveries, those match the truck. Attachments, you got a gooseneck attachment or not in the back, which will work great for his 50-foot uh, versatile trailer. Yay! Uh, fenders, we got twins, thin, wide, thick main, wide main. I mean, they, they just match what we would have there. So we'll go with a wide design there. Main color, since our truck is blue, we'll go with blue. All of these colors match the truck itself. Design, we went with a black age, so we'll go with that there. And then license plate is, well, just your license plate. So we'll get one of those. Next up, we've got the flatbed. Again, it's going to match up pretty standardly with the other version that we've already got. We've got a service rack, which adds 1,500 liters of fuel if you want to move that around. We've got metalized, black bell, copperhead, silver bullet, standard. All those match the B, uh, the truck itself. So if you go with a different design, go with that. Lighting, you got the emergency bar. Spotlights, so those yellow ones that we got on the front of the truck, those match right there. Fenders, twim, wide, back to standard, side rails, yes and no, you definitely want those. And then main color, you can make it do whatever you like. You also have the temper trailer for this. It's a standing feature. We have an extended version from 10,800 to 12,800, or an unreal capacity of 108,200. Yeet. <laughs> you also have a forestry version if you would like. And back to standard again. Lighting. We've got beacons on the front. We got strobe lights on there. Attachments. We've got a fixed or adjustable. Go with the adjustable. This truck's a little bit high. You've also got a cover on there that you could throw. A nice tarp. Main colors. We've got design colors. We'll go with the blue there with the blue tarp. And that's that. And your last piece with this mod itself is the Prospector bed, made very, very popular in Farm Sim 19. This bad boy, we have a standard or a service rack, so this adds another 1,500 liters of fuel. I like the standard. Fenders, we have single wide fenders. We also have twin and extra wide on there. Lighting standard, we got spotlights. Do they match? Absolutely. As well as LED lights, strobes, spots and strobes, and different setups of all, of all three. And then folding mechanism, we've got a platform or standard. You can fold that out. Sizes, we've extended. Just go with the extended. And then the color for that bed itself. You can go with a chrome color. You can go with a flat color. You're good no matter what you choose. And then there's this it's insane i guess is the best thing to to say here um 820 horsepower variable transmission 120 liters of fuel 125 kilometers per hour what in the world is that uh that's gonna be 77 miles per hour really gotta get that changed up uh we've also got uh, seven tons and sfts uh we got some new stuff for this truck right here this is the xtrm version aka the monster truck and i think that's backwards configuration we have full extras and standard just like your regular stuff we also have wheel brands of midas bkt swamp lizard <laughs> and then back to midas again now all of those are going to be exactly what they are you cannot change them at all bkt is my favorite we'll go with that special editions standard metalized black bell black bell 2 copperhead 
We also have Silver Bullet, Standard, Back End. You guys get the idea here. And then we have window tents. These are exactly the same as the truck. By the way, this truck is only available in a two-door version, not a four-door. We've also got different mirrors on here, so you can go with those mirrors, side steps, exhaust. I mean, it's literally the same truck. Uh, this is also where I was talking about beadlocks, uh, at least for the BKTs here. They don't show. Uh, maybe we could try a few different sets here, but I don't think beadlocks are going to show on any of these, and they are not, so just be ready for that. And uh, fenders are the same, emblems are the same. You've got the same engine, but it's either an 820 or 1220 horsepower engine. I think he just kind of took the other ones. It was like, mm, let's double them. And then you've got your stuff, the prospector bed color, the main color, the design color, the interior colors, the battle parts, the rim colors. It's all here, man. You've got customization for all of it. One of the great things is slot counts, not a big deal. The, the monster truck, it's only 17 slots. The prospector bed on the crew cab version is seven slots. The tipper is eight or six, sorry, uh, 12 slots on the flatbed version right here. The pickup bed, that's gonna be 10 slots, 14 slots for both of the trucks. It's not that bad, really low on slots. And it's absolutely insane. We do have one other mod to take a look at today and I think that this is just epic. So. We've got the Cotton Tag Trailer 3000 and 5000 together. These make the McCormick Cotton Trailer Pack. If you guys are looking for slot counts, there's going to be 11 for both of them. Now, I'm just going to show off today on the 5000 because it's bigger, but the smaller version holds three cotton bales, round ones. This holds five round cotton bales. So, starting off 4.7 tons, we've got different wheel options, and it holds the 238 centimeter round cotton bales that are made base game. As far as your wheels go, we have Trailboard, we also have Michelin, BKT, Prizetime, Midas, Nokian, Continental, and back in again. And we could do a standard and wide tire as well as a few extras through here as well. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, wow, this thing's insane. Do we have any tracks? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think we have any track versions, but we do have a nice Continental like road tire, or you can do dual road tire on there as well. I like that. Let's stick with those. So as far as other lights, we have side lights, which is yes and no, which are going to be along the edge. We've got beacon lights. And I got to figure out where the beacons are. I think we've got not one on the back. Aha, found it. It's right there on the front part. So you've got different style beacon lights through there. Do we have a flat one? Yes, we do. So we do have a flat one there. Hitch config. We've got tractor and we've got truck as well as gooseneck. So if you guys are using a regular tractor, go with the tractor. Maybe using a pickup truck, that could work too. A truck, so this is for semi-truck use only. And then if you're using a pickup truck like the 3500, which is phantom modding is shown off, you can go with the gooseneck. Oh, it's so awesome. And then we've got colors. Here's your main color palette. Let's go with bright orange for our main color. Rim color, you've got well, quite a few uh, colors here. Actually, you have your entire main color palette plus chromes. <whistles> like that. And that's it. There you go. That is your uh, Cotton Tag Trailer 5000. What an incredible day. What a fun day. What a great way to start the weekend with some awesome mods. Well, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you're as excited as I am about the 3500 and the cotton trailer. We've only got four cotton mods, and this is that was one of them. It's great to see some more stuff there, especially something so modified and so cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, get subscribed, join the Go Ahead fam. Make sure those notification bells are on. That way, next time we get surprise mods, you won't miss them. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.